awesome movie, very, very scary. And, but I want to hear from you, like, what drew you to this project? What drew me to this film? Honestly, that it wasn't just another horror film. It wasn't, um, it wasn't another demon film. It, there's a deeper meaning behind it. That's what attracted me to this. It, to me, the fact that it addresses, without giving anything away, the fact that it addresses um, childhood trauma and what happens when you don't deal with those, those issues. How you can literally be possessed by your demons. Um, that was a really interesting sort of take on the horror film genre, like, and that's why I did it, and it, it paid off because it's awesome. Gosh, I, I watched the movie and I'm like going, wow, that's deep. Yeah, no, it's really deep. It's, again, not your typical horror demon film. It's really fantastic. Really, the actors are fantastic, the story, and, and we became a family shooting it, so it's awesome that we're here and that, that people are responding to it. It's great. You know, I thought it was actually very interesting was that you played a bilingual family and you kept on switching between I mean, Spanish and Spanish. It's like home. That's how it is at home for me. Right? Yeah. It was but, but it wasn't it Spanglish. It was Spanglish, and it felt totally natural. Um, Marcus, who plays my husband, um, he, you know, he speaks fluent Spanish. So that's how it was why we were not shooting. That's how we were. So it just was very organic, and we really worked as a family. Even even while we weren't shooting, it worked perfectly. We all had this great chemistry, and, and it just worked out wonderfully. Wait, was that all in the script, or did you guys add that in? What, what's that? The Spanglish. You know, some of it was in the script, most of it was in the script, but we did do a lot of improvising and and just, you know, we luckily Adam is so fantastic, he trusted us and he, he let us sort of go with it, roll with it, and it worked out. And sometimes it didn't. Yeah. <laughs> but but um, for the most part, we're all so pleased. It, it turned out fantastic. Are you a fan of horror films? If I can be completely honest, no. <laughs> I don't like horror films. I don't like... Um, I don't like to feel anxiety when I'm watching, but, but this one's different, again, because it's got that, that deeper sort of meaning. I, I was attracted to the story behind the story. Uh -huh. So So what to, what's uh, next for you after all of this? Well, I, was just, I just did a season of Scandal where yeah, I, played, <laughs> I played the vice president. That was so much fun. That was so fun. Um, and right now, I'm just, you know, I'm available. <laughs> She, she's available to play available. the president. I, mean, I can play the president. <laughs> yeah, Here I am. So. <laughs> Terrific. And one last question. Sure. Do you believe in the devil? Um, no. <laughs> I don't. I believe in I believe in good and evil, but uh, the devil per se and, and hell, no. Yeah. I was raised Catholic. Yeah. You know, but but uh, no, I can't say I do. All right. That was a really deep question. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't prepared to answer. I hope I did a good job. You're good. You're good. Hey, thank you very much. So nice to meet you. Thank it's you. Pleasure. Thank and be sure to keep your browsers tuned to lrmonline.com for the latest news, bochinche, and analysis.